guys, what's up? It's Amstricken06 of Amstricken06.com, and today we're going to be doing some roof crossbars for the 2013 and up Hyundai Santa Fe with the non panoramic roof. I got this from HyundaiOEMParts.com. They are an amazing supplier that all OEM parts at discounted prices. Hit them up, they're an actual Hyundai dealership, so they'll get you anything you need from accessories to parts to whatever. So yeah, let's go ahead and break down this box, see what we got inside, and go from there. Alright, inside the box, you're obviously going to have your two pre-assembled crossbars. You're also going to have an instruction manual here, as well as with a key. The key has two sides to it. This side is a little flat tip side. It is to poke out the little plastic retainers. And then you have a star-shaped tool, and that is to make your final adjustments on the knobs to tighten everything up. Everything's pretty much self-explanatory in the manuals. Um, the video will do a good job of explaining it, so I'm not going to go into this. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start putting on the first one, and go from there. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is, you see this little cap here at the end? You're going to use the flat portion of the tool, and you're going to pop that little cap off because there's an adjustment knob inside the star shaped and that's what the tool for the star shape goes into now be careful these can pop out just push it back in what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to loosen this portion with the star shape so you can make your adjustments and just loosen that up and you're going to notice that starts loosening this up this will allow it to fall into the hole and then once you tighten it up it will squeeze it tightly. Do that on both sides. Before we begin we need to locate the roof rails. These need to be either pre-installed at the factory or you can buy them as well from HyundaiOEMParts.com and have these installed. Uh, they're pretty simple as well. But the reason we need them is because they have the holes right there on front and back, left and right and that's where the notches on the crossbars are going to go into and they will clamp down on this little beveled edge here so that's what we need to be looking for looking at the crossbars on here you will see it says the right hand which is the passenger side and the arrow pointing for front so this is the way they will need to be assembled on the vehicle they're both the same front and back so you don't have to uh, worry about which one goes where and the notch that I was speaking about is this little notch will go into the holes. So this is left hand front. So basically driver's side is going to have this warning on either side. So let's go ahead and install them. So I have my lovely assistant here today. She's going to be helping me out on the driver's side. Assistant, you see these little holes here? Yes. You have some on your side as well. Yes, I do. You're going to need to insert this little notch into... Let's do the front most hole. Okay. To your left, to your left. I probably need to loosen that up a little bit more. So what I'm doing here is I'm loosening up this screw just enough for this little back pin here to create enough space so I can slide this on to the rail. And it might come off, don't worry, it's okay. But you're going to notice as you're screwing, it's going to create enough gap for this to slide on. Now you really want to make sure that this pin back here, this little notch goes into one of these holes really important so once you put it in wiggle it back and forth to make sure it's not going anywhere and just retighten this star set screw and you're done Alright guys, thanks for watching. It's I'm Stricken, 
And stay tuned to the next episode. We're gonna be installing a roof box and it's got an LED light bar on top. So stay tuned. It's Tom Stricken 06 and I'm out.